Hello friends, welcome to my kitchen. I'm Serge and today we're going to do a little sample on steak frites my way. We call it petit filet mignon. It's super simple, really easy to do, but at the end we'll add a little twist just to uh, upscale your skill level where we're going to add a Béarnais sauce. Oh yes baby! Petit filet. We're just going to put salt, pepper, a touch of olive oil and uh, my famous garden thyme. This is lemon garden thyme. Very fragrant and it's got a little hint of uh, citrus. Pepper. We use a Maldon salt. I love that stuff. And olive oil. And today the way we're going to be cooking this, it's bulletproof. We're going to do it sous vide. For me the perfect temperature is 130. It's uh, about medium rare. If you want it higher, go for it. But I don't have the budget to buy a sealing machine. So we grab the little Ziploc and then we grab a laundry pin and then we just slide it in. You push it in, seal it, so it goes under the water. You gotta make sure it's under the water, just like this. And then we have one here ready to go. It's about an hour, an hour and a half. But this magic of this is you put it inside and then when you are ready, you are gonna sear it. All right, so basically now, I don't know why we call them French fries because Belgium people invented fries. So it should be Belgium fries. But today we're going to stick with French fries. Let's not complicate things. So basically I was spoiled enough this year to have three types of potato. So this is more like waxy. It's like a Yukon gall. I have one Russian. This was very lean on my, in my garden this year. And then a red potato skin and crazy enough I had one little patch that I put one of these and I had maybe 12. The crops was not big but they are so pretty. So basically it's a french fry potato cutter. This was uh, handed down to my wife. I'm quite sure grandma cut a lot of potatoes with this for her children. So it goes through it you gotta put a lot of elbow grease. We're gonna simmer our potatoes. That's one little trick that I found from a chef back in Quebec. So all of them in there. Cold water, lots of salt, very important. Potatoes are bland, so it's important to initiate the first cooking with a lot of uh, salt. All right, salt. So this, we're gonna put the lid on. As soon as it starts the first boiling, you just time 12 minutes. And then we're gonna drain it and you don't rinse them out. You need that starch. When it comes to that point, I'll show you the potato. It turns into like a starchy and it breaks apart. So when you deep fry them, the oil goes into those crevices and it's just like crispiness ebon. All right guys, at this point, we're just gonna prep our uh, Bernays sauce. So we're gonna grab two egg yolk and clarified butter. So crack your egg always on a flat surface. Don't go on the edge of a bowl because that way when you crack it, the eggshell might end up cut. I did the wrong thing. Two egg yolk, we're gonna crack it on a flat surface. Very important, don't crack it on the side of the bowl because you're gonna end up with eggshell inside your yolk there. That's a big no-no according to Jacques Pépin. See, I did the same thing again. Just switch the whites out of there. It's supposed to be like this. We need the big bowl for the egg yolk. Same thing, flat surface. I almost did it again. <laughs> there you go. And a little dash of water just to make it to start it up. We're just going to put that aside for now. And a Béarnais sauce takes a reduction. So basically we're going to make a Hollande sauce and add a reduction to it. We're gonna grab a fancy little pot here. We have champagne, reusable bottle. We're gonna reduce this as sec. As sec means it's almost dried. So wine, a dash of white wine vinegar, peppercorn. We're gonna grab garden onion, just rough chop, because this is gonna be strained. Yeah, you know the chopping sound, buddy. You like that, huh? But you can't have onion, buddy. So we're gonna reduce this 
we just need like a tablespoon. This is going to be concentrate flavor. And that's what I give the Bayonet sauce such a beautiful, awesome taste. And tarragon. Use fresh, just rough chop. You can go crazy, but this is the perfectness we want. It's almost dry. So we're just going to strain it and leave it for when we make her sauce. See all, it was about 100 mil, 120 mil. It turned out to be what? 15? That's packed with flavor, guys. That's our base for our Bernays sauce. Okay, so look, look, now the potatoes are simmering. We're just gonna put this low. Start timer, 12 minutes now. Next thing is we're gonna get our uh, steak ingredients ready. We're gonna need butter, thyme. We're gonna save some for our french fries. And one clove of garlic. What I like to do is just smash it, leave it aside. So when we are searing our steak, we're gonna base it with this. Like we're gonna put a lot of butter and it's gonna foam and we just base it as it's cooking. And we just want a nice cross on it. We don't want to cook it more because it's going to be already cooked to the perfect doneness in the sous vide machine. Just medium high, not too high. Because I like to use a cast iron pan because it keeps the heat. So the steak looks like this. I know it's not really appealing, but we're going to make it look prettier. We can save the juice to uh, add it at the end here. Pat dry this. And then if you see here, I tied it up earlier with string. So when uh, we cook it and sear it, it keeps his uh, body. So make sure it's really dry and then in the frying pan. The pan is smoking hot. A little bit of oil to start with. We're just going to put a lot of color on our meat first. Yes. I like to add salt and then at the end here, we're gonna finish it with the uh, fleur de sel, like maldon salt on the plate. And we're gonna add our tomatoes at the same time. We just want them to blister. We don't wanna make them mushy. Yeah, see, this is what we want. It's coming, it's already splitting here. All right, see, this is what we're looking for. This is very nice here. We turn it around and now don't judge, okay guys? We're gonna put a lot of butter. I don't wanna see you guys saying, oh my God. Keep in mind, <laughs> that's for the dog, I guess. I am French. The only thing with the uh, casserole pan is the handle is really hot, so don't be uh, a hero and grab it by hand. Grab a towel. This is perfect. So now we want that garlic and that butter. And this beautiful garden thyme. Yes. Goes in there. Thyme always makes that little singing noise. Perfect. There we go. That's what you want. Nice foamy. Our tomatoes are ready here. Oh, we lost one. That's for the chef. All right, so now we baste this for 30 seconds, a minute. Look at that. It smells good right now, eh? Oh, yes. And remember, it's already cooked. We just want a nice caramelization. That's perfect. I like to let it rest on a plate. Oh yes, thyme and garlic. So the restaurant secret to always have a perfect done meat is to let it rest guys. Now the secret is leave it on the plate, forget about it for at least 10 minutes. It's not gonna be cold when you eat it, trust me. This is piping hot now. So now we just leave it, let it rest, and then we do our french fries. All right, so after 12 minutes, you can see some of them are breaking apart. This is what you want. When we put that in a deep fryer, once it's chill, of course, the fat's gonna go in there and it's gonna make all these little crevices super nice and crispy. That's the secret to have a good French fries. And then we strain it. Do not rinse it with cold water. Strain the potatoes and just put it on a frying pan, uh, sorry, a tray, a pan or anything, just to put it in a cooler or even at room temperature. So I know it looks wet now, but trust me, after a couple minutes, this is just gonna be perfect for the fryer. 
Oh yeah, it's awesome. So at this point, we're gonna make our uh, Béarnais sauce. Look at the water here, it's not boiling, it's just uh, frémissir. So it's just like little bubbly water. We're gonna make it sure it doesn't boil. We're not making scrambled eggs. So on a double boiler, bain-marie, you have to babysit this. You just, don't pick up the phone, don't go answer the door, don't pet your dog, you keep an eye on this. You just whisk, whisk, whisk. It should happen pretty quickly though. Yes. You're gonna see that it's like making a little sabayon. The egg yolk gonna thicken a little bit. See, it's already starting. Go like this. Can you see that? And it's gonna emulsify. Just like that. Perfect. It can go back. Oh, it's really hot. In and out, in and out, don't stop. That's about a quarter cup. Let's wait your uh, waistline here because it's, uh, it's a lot of butter today. Almost there. There you go. That's it. A little bit more butter, come on. Live a little. So at this stage, we're gonna add the reduction. We're gonna shut the bain off. There we go. Here's a reduction. We're gonna start with half and then taste it because it might be too strong. Just to keep it warm, we'll go here. Quality check. Ah, uh, yeah. Let's go nuts. This salt, pepper. Oh, this tastes like school. In school, that's one of the first sauce you try to master, and we made this so many times because I screwed up so many times. And our tarragon that we harvest ourselves. That you need a lot. That's what makes Béarnais such a great sauce. And there you go, we put that aside. If this gets cold, do not reheat it. It's gonna coagulate. I would just grab a dash of water and then warm it up again. But when it hits the hot steak, it's gonna be uh, perfect. There you go, look at this. French fries time. So as you know, we already cooked those for 12 minutes. Basically, this is gonna be the final stage here. We're gonna put that at 375, which is already preheated. We're gonna deep fry it for like four minutes, five minutes top, till they're golden brown. So we'll see you in uh, four minutes. Remember to shake it as soon as you drop it in. You don't want them to all stuck together. So while the french fries are cooking, we're gonna empt up our french fry game here. Again, time. Just pick the leaves, and then you make sure they're all individual, no stem. And it's so good when it's fresh like this. And the salt we're gonna be using is gonna be Maldon salt in there. All right guys, these potatoes are looking pretty gorgeous. And then the tossy tossy. I like the blue potatoes in there. It makes it really uh, visually appealing. And now we're gonna dish up. Um, a little tip that nobody thinks about Always keeps your plate hot. Uh, hot food goes on a hot plate. The juice that we had earlier, that we saved from the cooking, we're just gonna pour it over. Get rid of the garlic and thyme and the string. That's kinda unedible. One and two. So this should be perfectly done. Cause you can't go wrong with sous vide, right? Look at this. Awesome. Just like that. A little bit of the juice. Because that's flavor town down here. Just like that. And then french fries. <laughs> Just like this. Let's put some of those purple ones. They're so nice and pretty. And our famous tomatoes. Oh my God. And then the Béarnais sauce. 
somebody's going to get spoiled and have a lot of sauce on their steak. A little bit in the back and a little bit in the front. Finishing salt, like I mentioned earlier. And again, we love pepper. And there we go. Yes. Bon appétit.